Morning, everyone. Welcome back to the homestead. Okay guys, so I think I answered my own question in regards to how I'm gonna lay everything out in the coop. This backside, as you guys know, is gonna be a door, an access door that I'm gonna to use to clean out the coop. Uh, somebody did suggest in another video that I remove this plate here to make clean out easier, and I am definitely gonna do that. Um, I am gonna put the chicken door within the clean out door as well. Here's my thinking. This side, as well, as you know, both sides actually are gonna have windows. One of these sides will have the nesting box. What I'm thinking so far is if I have window, window, and then roosting bars along this side, at night when they're up on the roosting bars and they defecate, most of the droppings are gonna get compiled right here. Therefore, I'm gonna keep the um, nesting boxes on this side, you know, so we don't want any of that nasty poo stuff getting in there. So nesting bars, uh, sorry, roosting bars, nesting box, window window clean out door and chicken door right here that's what i'm thinking all right so i'm gonna start measuring for our windows looks like 46 and three quarters <laughs> So guys, I'm starting our window framing, our bottom piece at 17 inches. Figuring I'm gonna make my window about 12 inches high. So 12 inches, we start there, that'll give us that much distance, um, which is approximately about six inches from the top. Uh, I just didn't want when you open this up this way for it to hit the soffits. So I think that'll give us enough clearance. side. Now we've got to put in that middle stud that we left out when we framed the walls. Uh, our mark on the bottom, we should make it, it should be exactly 48 inches since this is a eight foot coop that we're building. So we'll measure the distance from our mark in the middle up to here. Put our square, make sure we're level, and zip that piece in. So that measurement from center to center is just, focus, is just about 26 and one, two, three eighths light. Perfect. Okay, so another little tip I learned. If you line up your stud here, flush with the outside of the bottom sill plate and screw it in as soon as you tighten it down it's going to kick it in a little bit from the torque it's going to pull it so always start it a hair proud so this way when you uh torque down on it it sucks it in perfectly like that see nice and flush okay so we're going to start our top frame now we're going to measure down 12 inches or should i say up 12 inches make our marks on both sides and then we're going to measure again the width of it because I can tell you probably right off the bat. Yeah, see, it's a tiny bit different. You know, th these studs, they will bow. They're not completely straight. So never take for granted that you can just cut two at the same width. Always measure. Measure every piece that you're going to cut. And I'm glad we checked because we're getting 46 and a hair under three quarters. Slightly off from the other one. All right, that side's done. Now we're starting on this side, we're going to repeat the same steps, except that we're not going to um, put a stud in the middle here because this side is going to be our nesting box. So we're just going to repeat the top part of this uh, window framing here. We'll match up our marks. We'll put two pieces and a short little stud here to tie it all together. Okay. 
go. So again, on this side, we'll find our 12 inches for our window opening. Right there. And again, on the other side. Remember, we're gonna measure again, never take it for granted that the measurements are the same. And what do we have? Oops. 46 and a half, looks like almost perfect that on. Measure twice, cut once. Oh, see that? We messed up, that's why you always measure twice. Let's try that again, shall we? There we go. Do that one there. That's like a glove. We go ahead and remove this bottom plate for our door opening, which like that YouTuber uh, that on the comments suggested we do that. So in order to do that, what we're gonna do is we went ahead and set our, uh, our blade depth to one and a half inches so that we can just rip right through this without ripping the floor up. Not so bad. We nicked the floor a little bit right there, but that's not a big deal. On this side, of course, there was a screw right there. And we sawed right through it. Always be careful, folks. You see what that do to metal? No trouble wrecking right through a bone. Yep, I think that'll work out much better. Okay, guys, as far as the nesting boxes are concerned, um, I don't think I'm gonna get that in this video only because I haven't decided yet exactly how I'm going to do that. I have some of those um, pre-assembled nesting boxes. They're made out of OSB. I might just use those and, and screw them together, or I might fabricate something completely new. I'm not sure. We'll figure it out. But uh, I'm also completely out of lumber, so <laughs> that solves that problem for right now. So our window framing is all done. All right, guys, that'll do it for this video. Thanks for following along with me on this journey. Make sure you come back to check out the next video. We're gonna keep progressing on this chicken coop build. All right, Jenny. you wanna say goodbye to everyone in the video? Say goodbye, they're waiting, come on. Bye guys, we'll see you in the next one.